Welcome to Spice Candies. As I'm starting this video series, I've chosen to make simple, fast, and easy candies for YouTube watchers that may want to try and make those. My wife has requested a batch of coffee candies today, so we'll be making a simple and fast coffee candy recipe. As usual, we'll start with 70 grams of white granular sugar, 2.2 grams of dehydrated freeze-dried coffee, and 1 eighth or 1 ninth cup of corn syrup. I've chosen the Jacobs freeze-dried instant coffee. You may choose any favorite coffee of your own, but remember that you need to change the amount of coffee in your candy. The Jacobs is quite strong and requires only 2.2 grams of coffee. Other types of coffee may require higher amounts, up to 7 grams, depending on how weak the coffee is or how strong you want the candy to be. If in the future there will be a demand, I will show you how to make a cream coffee candies, which are a lot more fun in my opinion. We will first start making the candy by pouring the sugar, corn syrup, and an equal amount of water compared to the corn syrup, of course. And give it a nice mix. I'm using the smallest burner at max power. allowing the candy to heat up. Since this is a hard candy, we will need to reach the temperature of 150 degrees Celsius or 300 Fahrenheit. As usual, we'll need to make sure that everything is ready before we pour our candy, which means we need the parchment paper and a cutting tool. As the candy mix begins to boil at around 100 degrees Celsius, you can see the granular sugar at the bottom still not completely dissolved. Now that we have reached the right temperature, 150 degrees Celsius, also known as a hard crack temperature, we can add the coffee. I'm shutting off the flame source and adding the coffee in. At first we will not want to mix, as you can see, and will not dissolve into the hot sugar, but it will happen, it just needs thorough mixing. I'm using a long handled spoon, teaspoon actually, and this helps prevent uh, getting any burns. Once your coffee mix has become homogeneous, we can pour. I'll just give it one last quick stir. Just pour it onto the parchment paper. can now cut the candy marking fault lines that will allow us to break the candies later on and just mark these nice squares the candy is a little bit too hot as you can see these lines merge and I'll just move it on my sheet my fake marble surface to allow it to cool. Let's try again. And I think they'll stay this time. 
let's see. Yes, we're getting nice and clear lines, so it's a good time to stop and let the candy cool. Now that the candies have cooled, we can cut those. They'll always adhere a little bit to the parchment paper. They're just a bit too hot to touch, but I can handle it. And I prefer to do it when they're a bit hot as well, so they won't soak up moisture from the air. Just gotta be careful with those sharp shards. It's just like glass and it does sting. So if you do it slowly, you won't get hurt if you hurry up, as I do now. Well, it stings from time to time. Okay, so our candies are ready. I can pour those uh, into the container. I'll just get rid of those pesky triangles. A special method of getting rid of those. Mmm, nice coffee. And there we go. A batch of coffee candies. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly have. And if you do try it, please write a comment. I'd appreciate it. Have a nice day.